Right, so this is the Agito. This is our all new robotic dolly system. This system is brand new and will be launched in January. The first production will be available in January. Um, here you can see it's actually carrying a jaunt camera with a 360 stabiliser on board. So this is full three axis gyro stabiliser for 360 cameras. And this one's big enough to carry and stabilise a jaunt. This sits on top of our brand new Agito chassis, which uh, we're just launching here at IBC. Um, one of the big key features that this chassis brings is recordable movement. It's a feature that's been asked for a lot by our clients and customers over the last few years. Um, so this is a system that's finally bringing that to the table. And so you've got to perform a movement, record that, commit it to memory, and then replay that movement over and over again. Um, not only that, this new chassis has interchangeable wheels, which means we can run on open ground on different terrains. But we can also put track wheels on, so maybe not so much for VR filming, but for regular broadcast filming, you can put up a regular camera on here and drive that on tracks. So the thing with VR, obviously, you can't be in shot. Your operator can't be in shot in VR. So our system here is designed to move your camera by a remote, which has uh, a new, more robust radio system on it than our old system. So this now runs off 900 meg frequency, which gives us much better range and much better use when we're hiding, because you obviously can't be in shot when you're filming VR. Uh, so that gives you much more radio range when you're working. Um, combine that with this stabilizer. This is the only commercially available stabilizer for 360 cameras in the world today. Um, so it makes us perfect for anybody and everybody who wants to move a VR camera. And basically with the old system, you use a standard RC transmitter controller, which relies entirely on your finger and your hand to give you the control inputs. Uh, nothing preset and nothing automated about this. To do the same thing over and over again, you've literally got to learn the muscle movement to be able to do it time and time again. With the new controller, what we've done is basically set ourselves some presets on here. That means we can set a top speed, set an acceleration rate, set a deceleration rate, and then apply movement. So this now means that every time you push the throttle, it's going to accelerate at the same rate and get to the same speed every time you push that button. And if you want to modify what it's doing, you just subtly adjust the settings. So it means on set, you're much more accurate and you're much faster at doing the same movements over and over again. So that's sort of the first level of added control with this control interface. The next set of benefits to this is that you can then record that movement as well, which then means you set your settings up, do your movement, recording it while you're doing it, and then you simply reset the position of the chassis and hit the replay button, and it will do it all for you without you touching anything. So it's the uh, a bit of holy grail in VR filming. It's this automated, sort of repeatable movement. And like one thing that to me is sort of interesting about that is you sort of want to mimic a walking speed or mimic something yeah. that feels natural. So can you yeah. talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So that's a case of. Um, with this, with filming VR, there's, there's nothing scary about movement. People are a little bit put off by movement. They think it makes it can make you feel sick. The truth of that is a little bit different. We find our experience says that if you can move at a natural pace, and you can dial this in with the new system, dial in a walking pace. Uh, as long as that movement's carried out smoothly and consistently, without any sudden jerks and movements and bumps, all that movement's going to work brilliantly. It's just going to add to your add to your creative and make everything better. So.